Alright, so I don't know if in a other one of my other videos if I had explained this at all. But for some reason this is glitched to where um you can't for some reason you can't make a uh an amulet from the dragon stone. Not too sure why it's doing that, to be perfectly honest. Um, I think I even had problems with my other character. Like, I was able to make one and then could, like, never make another one. So, I don't really know what the problem honestly is on that. Um, but, <clears throat> what I am going to do here is uh, I have one on my other account. Um, basically, I'm just going to give everything that it would take for me to actually make it this is to enchant it that's to make it that's to string it this is everything that you would use to make it so i feel like that is fair enough to do um you know like i had said basically i didn't want to trade on this account but there literally is no way else of getting this since apparently it wants to glitch out i mean like you, you know i have everything that i need to make it I can cut the gem, I can make it, I can enchant it, not a problem at all. So to me, it was still as if I basically made it, so I wanted to make sure that that was a clear thing. Like I said, I don't know exactly why it doesn't let you make them. Um, I feel like it's just a little bit of a glitch. Uh, it even does it to me, you know, like when I was making the gold stuff, you know, like the gold amulets here, like I can... Uh, the only way I can make them now, it seems, is I have to have, like, a D-stone, apparently, in my inventory. <laughs> don't really know what the problem is with that, but... Yeah, I'm gonna get to work on probably slaying the hell out of some Abyssal Demons, maybe. Might get some Slayer Tasks, might see what we get. Um, I was kind of thinking of, like, trying to record all of what I kill for Abyssal Demons, but then I kind of thought about, like... That would take a long time, though, to go back through and pull the clips that I want out. So, I mean, basically, you know, I'm hoping by now people can basically trust that I'm actually playing this account as it should be. You know, anytime that I'm buying something from the store or, um, you know, like even this instant trading, uh, it's my other character, uh, to really get, um, just so that I can get a, uh, amulet, um, you know, it's things like that that basically, you know, I, I do try to show those just so that, you know, you do know that, uh, of like how I got an item, what I did to be able to get that item, things like that. <clears throat> so, basically, um, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much gonna just be like slaying loads in this, uh, uh, in this episode more than likely, um. Hoping to get a whip and possibly a second one uh, because of the fact that if I can get a second one, I can turn it into the wise old man and get a little bit closer to being able to uh, complete this. Yeah. Because uh, I know one of these is give him a whip. Um, yeah, right there. Giving an abyssal whip to the wise old man. So. That one will be a bit interesting. This one as well could be very interesting. Um, and I had explained this one that I can actually, I, I am allowed to buy these since I am directly giving them basically away. So I am able to do that. This one's going to take a while. That's very easy. Um, that's going to take a while. Yeah, that's... That is definitely going to take a while. Buying that Vestas Chain Bikes. I think it's 500 pick counter points, I want to say. So, a lot of these, though, were not too bad, though. So, um, yeah, I mean, more than likely, maybe by the end of this, I'll have this done. Um, we'll try to have this pretty close to done. Uh, if not this episode, next episode, we'll try to have this done because I want to try to start getting some uh, some crystal bows and stuff. And once I also have this done, I said I can then get void. So I feel like that's kind of an achievement in a way is completing this to so get void as well as being able to get crystal bows. So 
yeah, I'm really, uh, really getting pretty far in this account. Kind of surprised. Like, I'm actually farther into some of this stuff than I am on my main character. Like, I don't, uh, I mean, I have all the requirements to do this on my main account because I'm maxed. And I have, like, 6,000 PK honor points. And I don't even know how many uh, pass control points I have, but, um, I think I have actually more achievements on this character than my main character. Granted, though, I don't really go for him, I guess, so. But, yeah, I'm basically just going to be taking screenshots if I happen to get a whip drop. Like I said, you know, I wanted to record it all, but because of the fact of having free bandy cam still, it only does 10-minute clips. And for me to be able to put them all together and speed it up, the video would end up being stupidly long. Now, I could just record, I suppose, and um, just take the clip of, you know, when I get the drop, I guess. Uh, I could cut that out. I'll try to see what I can do, though. If I can't really record it all, uh, definitely will be taking screenshots. And like I said, I hope you can believe that I get a whip drop. I mean, obviously, it's not hard for me to buy my main character and just drop on the ground. But I'm not trying to do that. If I was doing that, I would already, you know, have like stupidly crazy stuff already. So obviously I am playing this as it should be because if I wasn't, there wouldn't be any fun in it. So yeah, I'm going to probably go to Abyssal Demons though. Maybe something else, not too sure. Do some Slayer, whatever. So I will uh, see you in the next clip. Well, I would definitely have to say this is... Definitely something different on the fact that, uh, if you look me map here, no one is here. That, wow. That's honestly probably the first time I've, to be per perfectly honest, the first time I've ever seen this place actually empty. Like, legit. <clears throat> I believe my Slayer task I actually got was Gargoyles, but of course I can't, uh, uh, well... I can kill them, I just really am choosing kind of not to kill them. At least right now. I wanted to get a whip first before really killing them and just, you know, like diving straight into Slayer, really. But, really? 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 What? What? Nope. That was my second kill. <laughs> um. What? I was just going to record talking about the fact that no one was here and whatnot. Well then. What? <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, am I going to get something else now? Like, <laughs> this is honestly insane. What the hell? And get a whip and D boots back to back. Well, I just need another whip so I can turn that one in. So, I mean, basically, I'm just going to be here until I get another whip. Wow. That was very interesting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, once I do hit uh, 90 Slayer, uh, I am going to be killing Dark Beasts. Don't really know exactly for how long, but. Um, that is basically the next thing I'm pretty much going to be doing. Um, like I said, I did get gargoyles for my next task, so, uh, I will be killing those. And those, uh, yeah, they'll probably give me 88, might even get me 89. Um, I need 90 for Dark Beasts, so. It's not too bad, honestly, to be able to, uh, get to 90. won't take too long. And then hopefully I can just get a Dark Beast task, because that would help a lot. Um, so, yeah. Back-to-back -back drops. Pretty uh, pretty insane. This whip, that's my third D-boot drop, I want to say. So, yeah, I don't want to make this too long. So, um, don't know what the next thing will be that you see, but see you then. Alright, so I was looking back at my videos. Um... I mean, of course, I uh, I do record more, I guess, in, like, advance. I usually have, like, two videos ready to upload, but I usually only upload once a day. Just so the fact if there's a day where 
I just can't record or something for any reason. Um, you know, I like to have a video being able to be ready to upload. Well, I had, uh, before just now trying to record this, I had went and uploaded episode 7. Now, this one's going to end up being episode 8. It was supposed to be episode, um, supposed to be episode 9. Now, I want to say, though, that, um, the reason why I got messed up was because apparently I put the wrong clip in it. So it had my farming clip from episode 7 and episode 8 at the beginning. I don't know how I was able to mess that up because normally after I make one, I delete the clips. So, not too sure how that got into it, but apparently somehow it did. Um, so now, uh, one of the things, though, that I want to kind of say, though, is that um, there's really not any much way of how I can say a lot of what I did. Um... I mean, I can say that, you know, like I do remember, I did quite a bit of um, Slayer. I know that for sure. Um, not only really did I do Slayer, um, I know I did quite a bit of other stuff. I'm pretty sure I did my Herbalore, actually, in that episode. Um, but I want to say what the problem was is that I was actually meant to add the Herbalore clip to episode 7 and I didn't um, and whenever you know I'm done with a when I'm done with a video I just delete the uh, uh, I just end up deleting the clip so the one thing is that because of that happening now though this will be the recent more more recent video and I'm only gonna have one video uh, to upload for tomorrow. Well, yeah. Basically, you'll see it on the day it's supposed to be there. But this video is um, fairly far away from episode 7. Because like I said, you didn't get to see my Herbalore. Um, things like that. Um, you know, and I talked about all kinds of stuff in episode 8. But of course, it got all screwed up because of the first clip. Uh, and with the program I have for video editing and stuff, it doesn't like accept files that it puts out for some reason, which you might think makes no sense, but the main reason why I use it a whole lot is because it can take a 2, 3, 4 gig file and make it like a few hundred megabytes, so I can upload a video in like 3 or 4 minutes. Um, but for some reason it can't read video files that it puts out with the codecs that I use. So <clears throat> I don't know exactly like I said I don't know exactly what I really talked about in the episode. Um I mean I do know it was about Herblore. Um I might be able to go back through and like look at pictures maybe just so you can see. Um so I guess I'll try to see if I can find those pictures and we shall look at that. Alright, so, like, basically this is what happened. For some reason, the farming clip here uh, got into episode 7 and 8. And actually looking at it, I think it was meant to be in episode 8, not episode 7. But I don't really know. I mean, I can just speed through this. Um, like I said, I know this was already in an episode, but, you know, I do want to show this off again just because I didn't actually explain that this took me roughly 3 to 4 hours roughly. Um, I was doing this only one patch, so you know, it kind of did take a little bit longer. I am wearing the farming cape quite a lot now since I have it. And then I started doing Herbalore. And this one's I'm not like, this was meant to be in for episode 8, but it got messed up. So uh, I just want to show the Herbalore levels that I got, the few Slayer levels, some prayer. Uh, I got even a clue scroll. But of course, it wants to troll me and tell me to get Dragon Full Helm. I am going to try to do that. Probably going to get shit loot. Don't really care. Um, I just don't want to drop it on the floor and, you know, not do it. I'd rather would actually complete it. So, 
Um, you can see I got neck reels, which I actually really wanted, because um, that got me some extreme attack potions. Um, and then, funny enough, like I always do it like when I kill one or or whenever I'm done with my task, I kill one or two of the monster before I leave. Next kill I got after I was done, got dragon boots, which actually from this monster, pretty sure is an ultra rare drop. Uh, and I got 35 ogres, easy task. I ended up getting 85 slayer there. Uh, I ended up getting dragons, so I went ahead and did the dragons. Um, I think this was actually my first dragon square shield, maybe it was second, I can't remember. Um, then I got even more prayer. Uh, I was able to get more slayer, and then I did some more cooking and fishing because I needed some more food. Uh, and then after I did all this. Maybe it's not part of this. Uh, yeah, it's not part of that. Alright, so I'm going to go to my other pictures. Show back. Alright, so yeah, I have to say this episode is going to be honestly long as hell. Sort of, kind of, maybe. I'm not sure. Depends on really how fast I go through all this. Because I did a lot of stuff. Comparing episode 7 to this episode is basically going to have episodes 8 stuff in this episode. So, granted, obviously, this is going to be episode 8, but what episode 8 was supposed to be is going to be in this one. Basically, what you just saw was pretty much what episode 8 was. There's a few other things that I can't really add back because it's deleted. Um, <clears throat> but I got a uh, Rune Defender finally. I went back over here and started killing them. It took me maybe 15, 20 minutes, roughly. Um,. I think I lost maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe like 15 or, I want to say I was in here for, oh, no, it probably didn't take that long. I want to say maybe I was in here for like 5 or 10 minutes, really. Because I know I was able to listen to like a few videos of music, so <clears throat> didn't take too long. Oh, yeah, that's what was in this. Or wait, no. No, I actually do have that recorded. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, my, uh. Me being here first kill, uh, or second, yeah, second kill while recording, got a whip drop, so. And then I just kept getting D-Boots, like, apparently D-Boots is very common with Abyssal Demons. Um, I mean, I remember coming here before, and I never got D-Boots, but uh, I ended up getting D-Boots, I think it was the third kill I did, and then got D-Boots again, and then got him again, and then again, <laughs> Uh, then I started doing Slayer. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was the inventory when I left. Uh, just happened to get Dragon Boots in the last kill I did. Um, and then, yeah, like, I was starting to do more Slayer, and Gargoyles was my task. Which, yeah, this was a pretty funny drop. I got in the Dragon Halberd and the Granite Shield in the same drop. Granite Shield is an, al an, eh, an ultra rare drop. Um, I believe if you were to sell this on the Grand Exchange, you usually see them go for like, I think, 30 or 50 mil, or maybe just people selling them in general. I'm not sure what they actually are on the Grand Exchange, honestly, but the Dragon Halberd was nice because I was able to use that as a spec weapon for a while. Since I didn't have a, um, I didn't have a Dragon Dagger yet. Um, and then I kept doing more Slayer, more Slayer, and then... <clears throat> Literally, I wish I would have been able to do commentary on this one because, like, I was I was gonna end up like recording it and being like, oh yeah, so you know we're gonna go to uh, to Dark Beast and see if we can get a Dragon Full Helm. First kill I do, Dark Bow. And what was really funny too is like this guy that was here, Happy Hunting or Happy Hunting, um, he had actually gotten a Dark Bow as soon as I got here as well, and I was you know still trying to kill my first one whenever he killed his. I killed mine, got a dark bow. So that that was pretty awesome. Um and then like I just kept getting rune rune crossbows as drops. I didn't know these things could drop a rune crossbow. If I would have known that, probably would have just tried to grind out for I mean, I needed the levels really anyway, might as well do it, but I could have just gotten a rune crossbow here and made what I was doing with Yeah, I could have done the stuff that I was doing a little bit faster instead of going off doing mining and smithing and stuff, but, yeah, I need the levels anyway, like I said, so, no problem. Um, and then I got Tezzer Kets. Didn't really care to do this task, honestly. 
This is my first uh, drop, actually, though, was the shield. I think that was the only one I got, actually, yeah. Shield, that's all I ended up getting. Then I got dragons again, so got quite a bit of prayer levels from doing that. Um, then I finished my slayer task, 93 slayer, uh, dragon spear there. <laughs> um, then I started uh, crafting the blue dehyde, and then more bones. And then the red dehyde, which this uh, completed the task, which actually, <clears throat> I want to talk about the achievements too. It kind of annoys me. Apparently you max out at 24 achievements. That really honestly annoyed me. Because, as you can see here, complete a total of 24 achievements. And that's where it maxes out at. And that really pissed me off. Because... What I was wanting to do was I was wanting to actually complete every task through that. Um, or, well, I guess achievements, I suppose. I wanted to complete all of them, but you actually can't. Now, I didn't do it on my main character. I didn't go through and do them. <clears throat> it was more of just whenever it happened, it happened. You know, like, if I happened to get an achievement, I got one. I didn't really try to go for them. But with this account, you know, it feels, you, you feel more achieved, I suppose, like if you're able to actually do them all, you know, without actually, you know, getting money from selling things and getting exchange and stuff. Um, but, I don't, yeah, I, I just, I don't know why you can't get all the achievements done. You only go to 24 and that's it. Like, I know you only need 20 to go kill Dagonoth Kings, but... Apparently, though, you can't do all of them. So, I don't really know. Like, I want to do all of them because, you know, like, one of them would require me to basically just practically drop 20 mil, pretty much. Uh, the other one is, you know, basically just losing 500 PK honor points. You know, there's a lot of them that are not really, you know, good and, like, fun at all to have happen and whatnot, but... I don't know, like, for some reason, though, you just can't do all of them. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do on that. Because I wanted to complete all of them. I thought that would be a really cool achievement to have, is having all of them done. But, you can't do them. Uh, and then I ended up getting 99 Mage, just said screw it, and just did it on these stupid things. Um, and then I went to go do some Hunter. Because of what I was trying to do, um, I just needed little bit of hunter just so I get these so I can make gloves of silence so I'm doing some thieving <clears throat> now I didn't really um didn't really like you know take screenshots of thieving because I mean it's so fast honestly like this this maybe took me like 30 minutes to an hour at most hour I'd say at most just because I was watching a stream while doing it, and, you know, I was just, like, clicking, not really paying attention, just watching the stream, um, and I'd randomly go back and forth, that's why I'm, like, not at the silver stall, because I was going back and forth, like, I go to the silver stall, it goes out, go over here, and then go over here, and then go back, and then once I had, uh, hit the level, uh, 65, like, you know, I got 65 pickpocketing, I think, from the Naira Dogna, uh, and then, you know, I just kept going back and forth and stuff because like, you know they do go out, um, so I ended up just uh, you know basically speeding through it. Got to that one, just kept on going back and forth, back and forth, and like, right when I was getting 85, pretty much I got the D stone. And then I remembered when I was on my main character because some some person was actually buying white stuff. They were uh, that sounds really really dirty, but they were buying like the weight. Uh, wow, I can't even talk. They're buying the white plate body and the white uh, plate skirt, I believe, with the 2H. Or maybe they were buying the legs, I can't remember. But they were buying those three pieces for, uh, I want to say it was like 175 mil. You know, not too bad of money. So uh, I came here and actually started killing some white knights. Because if you don't know, they do actually drop the white pieces that they're wearing, basically. They also even dropped the skirt, uh, scimitar, the kite shield. Um, pretty sure they, they don't drop the staff though, I don't think. I'm not sure. I, I killed them for a while though, and they didn't drop it, so. Um, but while I was here on main character, I remember seeing that there was a hero here, and he doesn't move. 
So this was ultimately the easiest way that I've actually got 99 thieving. I've only done it on two other characters, but this is probably the easiest way I'd say to honestly do it. I'd say from once I hit 85 and came here, I was probably able to get to 99 in like five minutes. That's what it felt like, honestly. It was going so fast. Um, and of course, you know, I can't just like sit there and spam left click. I actually do have to right click. But in between levels, I feel like it was only taking like 30 seconds to a minute, maybe. Um, like these levels were so fast. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and if you're wondering though, like I did stop at 95. That's what I was saying. Well, maybe I did say I was going to 99, but um, getting this, so like I said, it only took like 30 minutes at most. I feel honestly. Um, then I started doing some agility because um, I was gonna work towards the 95 agility for um, for the quest. Now I haven't looked at the quest guide, so I don't know if the 95 agility is really extremely useful. But then I thought about like, oh, well, it's useful no matter what because the blue dragons in the Tavley dungeon requires 95 agility to go through the pipe and uh, really nobody kills dragons they're like nobody so I was gonna go there for bones and stuff now you know you might think like oh it's really slow there well whenever I don't really need the dehyde anymore um, whenever I'm able to just you know kill black dragons hopefully get a visage and get you know dehyde and whatnot um, once I just need bones, I'll just go to the blue dragons there and kill those because it'll give me, um, it'll just give me, bo I'll just, you know, not take the dehyde and just take the bones and, uh, just take bones, no to bones and really anything else that I think I need to take. And then I can also just take, you know, like three food, um, try to pot up while I'm at the bank unless I really think I need to take potions with me. And basically get as many bones as possible in inventory. Um, so, you know, I just kept doing Hunter, though, because I needed Hunter so that I could do the way that I wanted to do Agility. Because, um, uh, like, I had gotten, I think I had gotten actually 80, and I just couldn't get the screenshot of it. And um, then I realized, like, oh, well, I need 80 Agility, duh. So... Came back, went to do more agility, and then came back to where I was and did Ruby Harvests for agility XP. They give, I think it's 30,000 experience each time you catch one for agility. And I want to say 4k for Hunter? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I was getting some pretty quick XP. And this is honestly like the way of doing AFKable agility. Now, it's kind of slow. It can be anyway. Like sometimes you'll be catch, you'll be trying to catch one of the things for or the butterflies for like 30 seconds to a minute. Sometimes it takes a little bit, but I don't mind it really. I mean, I'm able to you know watch a stream, click, and then I can see the XP drop, and then just find another one, click, and it's it's honestly so easy. <clears throat> so I got an 85, and I was like, all right, I can do the next uh, butterfly, and I was like, oh, I need five more hunter levels. So, and then uh, I, I think I, I had said, I was like, oh no, screw it, and just kept on doing uh, doing it. And then I was like, no, let me go just do the Hunter. <laughs> so I ended up getting the 85 Hunter, and yeah, I got a decent amount of Chompas from doing it too, which will just add to uh, ranging XP is just what they're going to do. Um, and let's see, yeah, and this is whenever I came to the Sapphire Glacies, I think is what it's called. I can't remember what exactly these things are called, honestly. Um, I mean, unless, no, they're not snowy nights, no. Um, so basically I just stayed here. It didn't take too long. I want to say maybe at most, I'd say rounds. I mean, if you count the Hunter included, I'd say almost three hours. If you want to want to have the Hunter included with this. To be able to get to this uh, point of, uh, yeah, basically to uh, to get to the point of being able to do all this, I'd say roughly three hours. If you count the Hunter as well, if you just straight count the agility, if you already have like high Hunter, I'd say maybe this could take like, if you're really concentrated more on it, uh, probably more than I was, 
Uh, I'd say maybe an hour and a half. Um, cause I'd say the, let's say the hunter probably took another hour, hour and a half, roughly. I mean, cause Shinchampas, they're not fast, but they're, they're not really slow either. Like, Red Shinchampas at 80 is a pretty fast method. I think it's like 1.6 mil experience an hour when you hit 80 cause you can set five traps. So, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure Red Shinchampas is some of the fastest XP to go to 99 with. Um, man, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, so yeah, I just, you know, even, even got a sneaky hunter level in there. Um, so, you know, I ended up getting 95 agility though. And pretty much, I think now I'm caught up to where I am in game now. Um, yeah. You got 90 fishing. So, um, I'm going to jump into the game. We'll see what has exactly changed all that much. All right, so let's see what we got in the bank here. Um, so, you know, I, I thought it would be kind of cool to, I guess, keep the tokel. Don't really care too much. Um, probably won't really get too much more tokel, but yeah, I thought it would be nice to just keep it in the bank, whatever. Still got this clue scroll. It's a big-ass troll. Um, I might try to go back and try to get a DFA, uh, DFH, yeah. Dragonfly home. Um, I don't really know if I should, if it's really worth it. Um, I mean, I know medium clue scrolls really can't get you a whole lot of things, but they're not terrible. Like, I can actually open this up and, um, of course I can't type. Let's see, medium, yeah, here we go make the smaller um, so you know medium clue scrolls they can't give a whole lot of good stuff and you know mainly cosmetic things more or less um, I want to say though the blue skirt robe and hat I could be well no, I probably am wrong I was gonna say they give more mage ones than what I have but Pretty sure Ghostly is actually pretty damn good on Mage Bonus. Um, yeah, I suppose really there's not much here. Like, nothing's here. I mean, I think if I do get like a black piece though, I think I can actually high out it for... I don't know, it's it's a pretty decent amount of money. I think outking any of this stuff is honestly decent money. So, as long as I got, like, one of these pieces, I mean, I guess it'd be fine. It really wouldn't bother me. I could just high out it, probably. I mean, that that's what I would think, anyway, that I could... I, I probably should be able to, uh, to do that. Um, now, I feel like I would actually get one, because it requires DFH, but... Uh, I could be wrong. I mean, I've never, I've never done one on my main account, main account that required DFH. Um, I think I had one that required DFH, but I just dropped it because I didn't have one. It was like when I was like first starting out in the game, and I saw DFH was something like, I don't remember, like 60 or 80 mil or whatever the hell price it was. And it was honestly expensive for the, for the time. It was expensive. Like I didn't know how to make money yet, so I ended up just dropping it. Um, but yeah, the bank hasn't changed all that much. I don't really know. Um, it's not it's not that much changed. I mean, got quite a bit of drops in here. Um, do have the dragon that Wait, did I? I did not see that screenshot. Maybe I didn't take a screenshot of it. Uh, huh. Yeah, I didn't see that as a screenshot. Pretty sure I had gotten one. Maybe I didn't, though. Um, but I did get a Dragon Dagger. Now, if I didn't get a screenshot of it, I do want to show, though, that I, mean, I got it from uh, an Iron Dragon. But I do want to show, since I don't remember getting a screenshot of it, here's the shop. Yeah. You can basically tell there's no way I can fake getting a dragon dagger because it's a plain dragon dagger and you can't get that from the shop. So 
I do want to, you know, clarify that that you can't uh, you can't get a dragon dagger from the store. Just so we're clear on that. Um, so I mean, you know, the chin chompas, like I said, I'll use those for some extra range XP. If I happen to ever get, um, what is it, the monkey monkey zombies or whatever the hell those things are. If I get those as a slayer task, I'll uh, you know use those probably. Unless maybe I just want to get some range XP, I'll just go use them. Whatever. Um, let's see, anything else in here? I did a little bit more organizing and stuff. Not really, but some. Uh, you know, I got like my random items here. It's more like just like kind of like cosmetic stuff and hunter stuff. Really, that's about it. And then this is my food now. Um, I was pretty much just going to do shark um, until I got the requirements for the quest here. Um, yeah, I need 92 fishing, 92 cooking. I mean, I also need 1,000 PK honor points and 150 pest control points. So... I'm going to do the fishing and cooking first, and then... I need a thousand points. I don't remember how many I have right now. Um, I think I have a few hundred. I know last time I saw that I had like three or four hundred. Um, so I can maybe do like the rest of rune crafting as rune crafting XP is so fast. I can make some clay, make some teleport tabs because I need those anyway. Um, and with that being said, you know, like I can gain loads of XP. I think you can gain like um, 125 to 150 million experience an hour um, making tabs. Now, granted, I would have to actually make the clay, so I wouldn't be able to get it that fast. Um, might be like cut the experience in half kind of thing. I'm not too sure, but that wouldn't be too bad I might actually see if humidify would actually work because that would make getting soft clay a hell of a lot easier might have to look into that um... let's see here though uh... really xp wise though i mean 302 million xp right now that is honestly insane um... i mean we've been doing the hell out of some combat uh, just trying to get kills and stuff on things and whatnot. So, uh, trying to finish things up and everything like that. Like, you know, you can see achievement points 24. And I can't do any more, which sucks. Because I tried to give them um, more rune. Well, maybe you can actually. Let's see. 200 death runes. Let, let, let's find out right now if I can. So, I, I tried this before, but. I don't know what the problem was. Let's see, does it work? Oh, okay. All right. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I, I had tried it earlier, and it wouldn't let me do anything. Maybe I was just lagging because I'm internet. I I honestly have no idea. I tried doing it earlier though. It wouldn't let me do it. So <clears throat> that is awesome then, because I am definitely going to continue to do this. I want to finish this. Definitely want to finish this because that would be awesome to have as uh, as a completed thing, especially that Vestas chain body. Because I guarantee, let's see, oops, Vesta chain body, six hundred mil. Granted, that's sell offers, but I'm sure people buying it are just buying it for some stupid low price. Um, nobody's buying it. Fair enough. So, I mean, yeah. Um, I was thinking, though, like, what I could do um, was maybe not actually give it to him. But then I was like, no, no. If I if I actually am to complete it, I will give it to him. Um, so, yeah. Buying the same body from the shop and giving it to him. Oh, that's going to be painful. The Abyssal Whip one, too. That one's going to be painful as well. Because, I mean, like, who knows how long, honestly, it's going to take me to get another Abyssal Whip Drop. So, um, you know, and wanting also a Dragon Full Helm to finish this stupid Glue Scroll. 
I mean, at least I already have a granite shield for if it needs a granite shield for the clue scroll. I already have that, luckily. Um, I even have the adamant scimitar because I know that's needed for clue scrolls as well. Um, let's see. Uh... See, I also need to make, um, because I was thinking about bossing, and I kind of completely spaced on the fact that Adamant Bolts and, uh, Ruby Tips, and Enchant those, and it makes the, uh, Ruby Bolts, I had completely forgotten about that, so, I don't think I have any, no, it doesn't seem like I do have any Adamant Bars, I do have actually some Bolts still left, so that's good, uh, have some un- untipped and unfeathered um so yeah i think actually because i mean i got 500 of these i could probably make like 400 or so of ruby ones and that should be pretty good for bossing i feel um i mean i was thinking of trying to like maybe do god wars dungeon stuff but since i don't have a cannon yet i don't think it's even worth tread for now um, I mean, I would, I would like to get, you know, some drops from bosses and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think really though, I'm going to pretty much work for getting the stuff for this quest done. Um, the thousand PK honor points, that could take me a while. Probably be getting all kinds of levels or just XP in general. So... Yeah, um, so I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish up fishing and cooking, I'll do this, I might do this before I do my next video, because I kind of want to do the, the quest through a video, I'm not too sure if I want to or not, um, but, yeah, I might, I might, maybe, if not, you know, I'll just basically do the quest and, you know, show that I finished it kind of thing. Um, cause I mean, like I said, I don't know how hard the quest is. If the quest doesn't seem too difficult, like it seems pretty simple to go through and do, maybe. I mean, just cause like it is like fights and stuff, uh, not really sure. Maybe what I can do, because more than likely, whenever I have everything done for this, it's going to be like really late at night kind of thing. Well, at least for me anyway. Um, it's going to be rather late at night. And I'm sure by the time I'm able to do the quest, uh, everyone in the house is going to be awake. So I would need to do this either when I wake up the next day. Or I could just record me doing the quest and then kind of show it off, like just mute my mic so you don't hear anything. Um, grand though, I wouldn't be able to listen to music or anything like that. I could go back through, I guess, in the video editing thing and just, you know, mute the audio so you don't hear anything. You just see the, the game. So maybe I can do that. Um, I mean, I have been wanting to do that for Slayer and stuff, but just didn't really honestly feel too much like really doing it I guess I don't really know um but yeah I mean pretty much I'm gonna get to doing uh the rest of the requirements for that I'll keep doing these as well um cause I'm pretty close to being done with all these like I could actually even do the onyx bolt one right now if I wanted to but I'd rather not I, I would honestly <laughs> prefer to get this quest done first before I do that because this quest being done crystal bows out for like 105 mil um, from someone I was talking to so yeah that'll be some amazing amount of money now <laughs> I was thinking though I could do another 10 hour video after I finish the pest invasion maybe that that might be happening but yeah uh if you ever want to, feel free to PM this account or um, this account if you uh, see any of my characters on. You feel free to PM. I don't mind the help, anything like that. So, uh, let's actually do time played. Almost forgot about this. <laughs> 
time played is 62 hours. Damn. I think actually... I want to say episode 7 was 48 hours, and then episode 8... Maybe episode 8, well, the before episode, like, episode that got all messed up. This is going to be episode 8, but the episode that was supposed to be 8... I think had 48 hours, or maybe it was episode 7, I can't remember. It probably was actually the one before this one, so... I don't even know what episode 7 hours was, because I don't even think I did it. I think I'd actually forgotten on that video. So, I mean, like, since the last video, I think of this one's, you know, been like 30 hours of progress kind of thing, so... Um, yeah. I don't really know, like... There's so many things that were done compared to the last video just because of the fact that the other one messed up. But, yeah, I think it's going to do it for this one, though. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.